What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. I apologize. My storage space ran out, so I had to clean up some space and um, all that good jazz on here. But we're ready to roll now. So um, this is part two for Leo of January 2023. I apologize about that, uh, but we're ready to roll now. So I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, so, okay, so I was delivering the channelings I got before the reading because I'm shuffling out the cards now. Um, there's still a couple more because there was a lot of them. So I'm just going to keep delivering the channelings and shuffle out the cards and then we'll go from there, okay? This is for Santa Leo. Only take the messages. Resonate. Free general. Collect free. Okay, so the other one I heard was, um, a Leo feminine and a Leo masculine that has been heavy dark arts wielders for years. I heard that dark arts is about to backfire upon them. I heard for one of them, their health. For one of them, their finances. Um, um, voodoo. I just heard voodoo just now. So you plug it in how it resonates. So there's at least two dark arts Leo um, people out there in the universe. One femme, one masculine at least. Um, only you know if you perform voodoo, not anybody else. I heard voodoo specifically, so everybody has different viewpoints on voodoo, and that's just the truth. Some people think it's okay. Um, I personally don't. I don't because, I mean, I don't judge things, but if you do anything to hurt, harm, block, hinder, or stagnate somebody's progress to another individual, that is harmful, and that's just the truth. And why else are you doing voodoo if you're not trying to bring your own self up and take away from other people? And that's just the truth. That's my viewpoints on voodoo, but you take it how it resonates, and you plug it in how it resonates in your own life. That's how, what, how I see voodoo, and that's just the truth. Why are you doing voodoo if you don't have strategic reasons to do it, to bring yourself up and to take away from others? Or to call in dark entities to bring yourself up and have to pay the piper later on. Just saying, just saying. But anyway, so I digress. But my point is, there's at least two Leos out there in the universe. One femme, one masculine. Feel for some of these Leos, they might watch my channel. Because there's a reason I'm bringing them in, in here. But Or that somebody might show them this video. But how this resonates, they're heavy, dark arts, wilders in the past. Specifically voodoo. Voodoo. Because, um, you know, there's hoodoo and there's voodoo. I heard voodoo with the V. Um, and um, it's about the dark arts is about to backfire. Sounds like soon. Sounds like they've been doing it for years, but now it's about to backfire. Some of, some masculine and feminine Leo, some on their health, some on their finances. So that sounds like how it's about to backfire on them. Because, you know, dark arts can backfire on the person wielding it or the people closer around them in their energetic space. And this aspect is going to be on them. Their personal finances, it sounds like, or their health. How that resonates and applies. Spirit messages you have a sign of uh, voodoo. Spirit, I said spirit, what messages you have a sign of voodoo? Not voodoo. Um, spirit, what messages do you have for son of Leo? Ah! Okay, and the other one I heard was a Scorpio masculine does, uh, does not want a Leo feminine to move on romantically. Or um, career-wise, but I heard she's about to. Um, I heard he never put in the time and effort in her in the past. And this is his negative karma, is to watch her move on happy. Um, and I heard another Scorpio masculine is about to help make this happen. And I've been pulling in a Scorpio masculine soulmate and a Scorpio masculine karmate. Very strong in my readings, especially in the past week. With the Leo. So, I'm just saying. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. It keeps coming in and coming in and coming in and coming in. I mean, strong. We had a, I've been pulling in a Scorpio masculine karmic and a Scorpio masculine soulmate that's going to turn into a Leo Femmes twin flame. And I'm serious. So I think that might be the same situation for at least one of you guys. For some, it may not be. Um, you Only you're going to know your story, not anybody else. But that's at least one person's story out there in the universe, I'm feeling. Because I keep pulling it in and pulling it in and pulling it in. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates, okay? But the Scorpio masculine that doesn't want the Leo Femme to move on, I heard he never invested any time, money, energy, or anything into her, but he doesn't want her to move on romantically or career-wise. 
I feel for some, you could be the Leo them about to do it. Um, I think you recognize that this person is a karmic. He doesn't, I heard he never helped you. He never invested in you romantically, emotionally, physically, financially, or any kind of investment in you in the past, ma'am, Leo Femme. So why would you hang around for this person when this person doesn't even see, obviously did not see your worth or refused to see your worth or didn't want to see your worth? You have to do what's best for you. And that's just the truth. And it sounds like you're about to. Sounds like you're about to. And that's the, to me, that's the right step to take. So kudos to you. But he, to my opinion, this he's a karmic. This person is a karmic. The Scorpio mask a karmic that never invested in you in any shape, form, or fashion in the past, but yet don't want you to move on romantically or career-wise. He never invested in you, never made you see your worth or your value or probably spoke any positive words or affirmations to you or any positive action. So why would he expect you to wait for him or not move on with your life? That doesn't make any sense. Um, he sounds very selfish, if you ask me. He's very selfish, and it's about to backfire on him in a huge way. Okay, I heard he's very selfish. This karmic Scorpio masculine is very selfish, and it's about to backfire on him in a huge way. But ma'am, you're Leo Thim. I heard another Scorpio masculine. I think this is the soulmate energy I've been pulling in and pulling in and pulling in. He's about to help you with this. So I think move on romantically um, or sexually. Oh, I didn't hear sexually, but for some it could be, you know, like a little, you know, one night stand. Maybe that's how some of you guys get pregnant. I'm not saying that is. I'm not saying it is. Um, or a date or it might be a business connection. Um, a call for an interview, um, you know, a career move or transfer or something something positive with the new scorpio masculine not the old one that wants to hold you back but yet doesn't want to see your worth or value or let you know your worth or value or help you in any shape form or fashion it's a new one um somehow he's about to help you but i think this might be the same one i've been pulling in where the soulmate is going to, down the line through many series of chain events is going to become twin flame to you for one of you guys um, it doesn't sound like it's going to happen at the beginning, but through time, which that's the best way to do it is through time. Um, and that's just the truth. Um, getting to know somebody, um, connecting with somebody, being able to trust somebody, uh, invest in somebody in a positive way. That way, you know what kind of person they are before you invest your time, money, energy, and love into them. And that's just the truth. I'm going to use Animal Spirit deck. Let me get the rest of the cards. I apologize, you guys. Okay, give me just a second. Yeah, so um, kudos for whoever you are, Leo Fem. I'm um, about to move on, ma'am. Um, this person doesn't, I mean, that's a karmic energy all day long, but you've got a new Scorpio masculine about to help you with this. It doesn't sound like it's about to, um, that it hasn't happened yet. But if this is the one that's going to turn into a twin flame, I don't think the romantic situation is going to happen off the bat. I think it's going to happen down the line. And honestly, that's the way it should go. Um, in my opinion, that's the way it should go because you should form the bond connection, like, friends i personally believe people's twin flames and everybody has different viewpoints on this but i personally believe people's twin flames should become best friends first i think you should become best friends first true best friends um i'm not saying you can't have other friends because hell that's good to have many connections positive connections many friends many connections in a positive aspect but if you're going to turn it romantic um like true romantic, true feelings, true, like, I think of like a Twitch and Allison Holker kind of thing, because I love Twitch and Allison Holker. I just, I do, I still do. Rest in peace, Twitch. But they were true best friends. But yet, they ended up many years down the line getting married, having kids, having a family, building their empire off their love. And they truly were, they truly were in love. I don't care what anybody says. They truly were. And that's just the truth. They were. And, you know, they have these mongers out there on the internet downing Allison and all this right now. 
I don't like that because she proved it with her actions that she truly loved Switch. She wouldn't have called the police wondering why he left without his car because she knew it was abnormal for him. That showed concern that she called the police wondering where her husband was when she she knew he didn't take his vehicle when he normally did. Um, and that's just the truth. And it ended up, he was in a, ho a hotel room dead. So thank God she did call the police. And that's just the truth. So I don't care what anybody says about her. I She showed it in her actions and raising of her kids with him. I mean, I'm getting off on another tangent with that. But that's what that reminds me of. The best friends turning soulmates. They were soulmates to each other over a decade ago. They turned it into a twin flame union down the line. Something like that is what I'm trying to say. Leo Femme, I feel that's what's going to happen with this new Scorpio masculine. Down the line, down the line. I don't think it's going to happen immediately, okay? Um, but the old Scorpio masculine didn't invest that kind of energy, time, money, love, or what have, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm not saying you have to invest money in a person, but I don't believe that. But he didn't invest in you. He didn't see your worth. So it's good that somebody is, I mean, is about to come into your life in a positive way and not try to hold you back. I heard this person doesn't want you to move on. Well, why don't they want you to move on? They haven't invested anything. You know, they don't even see your worth now. So what? You know, it doesn't make sense to me is what I'm trying to say. So kudos to whoever you are about to take the leap and move on. You might be the same one where your career is about to take off possibly or not. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. I keep going on about the Twitch and Allison Holfer thing, but that's what that reminds me of with true twin flames. Um, I truly believe they were true twins. And I'm serious. I really do. I do. And do I love Allison Holfer? Absolutely. freaking -lute. Because Allison Holfer reminds me a lot of myself. And that's just the truth. Now, am I a beautiful professional dancer? Hell no, I'm not. I'm a nurse. Um, but. Do I agree on her viewpoints with parenting and agree on her viewpoints with love and the way she was very devoted to Twitch um, and their life together and them living on their own terms as a couple, especially living in L.A. as a couple? Absolutely. And they went against the grain as far as a biracial couple. Um, I love that, too. And they set a good example. Um, and that's just the truth. So I love her for many reasons. And I love Twitch for many reasons, too. And I just want to point out, Allison Holker is an Aquarius, and Twitch is a Libra. So, and y'all know I'm a Leo, but I've had a lot of flack on here that I hate air signs, and that's not true, because Allison Holker is an Aquarius son. Twitch was a, well, he still is in the spiritual realm, a Libra son. Two air signs, okay? So, and I loved those air signs. I think they were wonderful examples of how it should really be going against the grain in LA and that's just the truth I mean it okay wolf and raccoon for some of you guys you could be dealing with a um <clears throat> fire sign or earth sign if you are they have Aries Leo side your Taurus Capricorn Virgo and their sun moon rising Venus will come in hand with charts wolf and raccoon Let me get out one more deck, and then we'll keep going. I wasn't going to do side readings today, you guys. Your message is you have a sign of Leo. I just want to say to whatever Leo Fem's about to move on from this Scorpio masculine, I'm sure you already know this, but I just want to add this in here while I'm shuffling out the cards. It's obvious this person does not care about you. There's no love there. Obviously, there's no love. None. None. He does not care about you. So, if anybody needs to hear that and you're about to move on from this person or you already have, I'm telling you from a third, third not a third party, but a outside looking in perspective, this person does not care about you. Period. Period point blank. 
I feel he's left you to um, stagnate. And he just, it's like a competition thing. It's like he wants to see you go down and while he goes up. Like, that doesn't make sense, you know. Um, you should li live and let go. Um, and this person is obviously not a part of your life. Uh, they are most certainly not. Okay, it's confirmation. They're most certainly not. Yeah, they're not any part of your life. It's better for you just to move on. And I'm just telling you from an outside looking in perspective. If anybody needs to hear that. If you are this Leo fan. Number five could be a very significant number in one's life. Number five, prosperity and uh, 555 change energy here. Um, that's what I'm feeling. A lot of changes coming. Uh, yeah, prosperity. Uh, and I just want to say, okay, so you've got wolf and raccoon, the fire sign energy with earth sign energy, prosperity with good fortune. And one of you guys' career is about to take off whether your community wants it to or not. I feel for some, you might get an offer outside your community. And I didn't hear you were going to, but there's a way it's about to happen whether your community wants it to or not. Is what I'm, I, and I'm, I don't feel it's all members of your community. It's definitely not all members of your community. It's about to seriously backfire. Okay. Oh, well, for some, it might be in your community then. For some, it might be an offer outside your community. For some, it might be offered inside your community. Because whoever that's for, I heard it's definitely not all members of your community. So certain members of your community was strategically holding you back or trying to hold you back or something. So it's definitely not all members of your community. For some, you might get an uh, offer outside your community. For some, it might be inside your community. I don't know. Only you're going to know you're showing anybody else. But you do have good fortune and you have prosperity. Um, with career here, and for some, it might turn into love, like true twin energy. And I'm just being serious. It has been all in my readings. So you plug it in how it resonates. Prosperity, good fortune, getting together with friends, an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. These are really great cards, really great cards, good energy. And it's about time. A Capricorn and a Leo and a Libra is about to get arrested for voyeurism soon. And sex trafficking. It's about to benefit you in a huge way. And a Sagittarius. Whoa. A Capricorn, a Libra, uh, a Leo, and a Sag is about to get arrested for voyeurism and sex trafficking. It's about to benefit you in a huge way. So whoever you are, I think you're a high vibrational Leo. You treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. Obviously, I don't think you bore your people. Um, or you are involved in sex trafficking. But whoever you are, high vibrational Leo fam, somehow these people about to get arrested for voyeurism and sex trafficking is about to benefit you. I feel for some you might have been voyeured or sex trafficked by these people, possibly. I didn't hear that. I just intuitively feel that for at least one, for another one of you guys. Somehow, these people getting arrested is going to benefit you if you're not the one that has been sex trafficked or voyeured by them. Um, but I feel for one, you might have been sex trafficked or voyeured by them. Um, Leo, another Leo, a Sagittarius, a Libra, and a Capricorn. They could have Leo, Libra, Sag, or Capricorn, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Fem, and Haven, Jupiter, Charge. But they're about to get arrested for sex trafficking and voyeurism. Um, whoa. For some, you might help arrest them or provide information as a citizen to help them get arrested. Only you know your story and situation, not anybody else, okay? You have to plug yourself in where you fit. Are you the one that's been voyeured by them, sex trafficked by them? Do you, are you a citizen that has information or evidence on them? Are you an officer or a, a fed or a private eye about, about to help apprehend them? I mean, you plug it in how it resonates. Wolf. Well, Someone is very interested in you, very interested in you. Possible romantic down the line, indefinite work. You 
They have the same energy as this person. Get it done kind of attitude. Work hard, play harder attitude. You might get communication soon regarding this. Wow, Leo. Okay, so I think it's from another fire sign, Aries Leo Sag, because we have the wolf energy. Um, but you plug in how it resonates. But um, I originally said this was the earth sign card, but I looked it up. It's actually a fire sign card. The wolf is a fire sign card. Um, but you plug in how it resonates. But anyway, so, okay, so... Somebody see somebody has the same energy as you, um, and they like the same energy you exude. I heard get it done kind of attitude, work harder, play uh, work hard, play harder attitude. So whoever you are, you're a hard worker, but you like to play hard just as much as you work hard, which is the way it should be. That's the way my that's the way I look at it too. Absolutely. Um, but this person, and I think it might be a fire sign or earth sign or any other sign. But if they're not a fire sign or earth sign, they definitely exhibit the fire sign energy for sure. Um, you can be any placement and exhibit any other sign's energy. But they definitely are taking on the wolf energy, desire, drive, and motivation, get her done kind of atti uh, attitude, work hard, play harder energy. Um, they see that in you, Leo. You mean Master of Him, Leo. They see it in you, and I heard they want to work with you and possible romantic down the line. But whoever they are, they're not working with you yet. I heard you might receive communication regarding this soon. So it might be from them or it might be from somebody in their company or their business or what have you, what have you soon. Might. I didn't hear you for sure we're going to, but might. And that could be where the good fortune and the prosperity comes into play. And if you accept, if it's a job opportunity or, um, or what have you, what have you, and you accept it, I think they're going to turn to a friend at first. Because it sounds like you have a lot in common with this person. I mean, they're taking on the same energy as you. I don't care what sign they are. I didn't hear what sign they are. But they're definitely taking on the same energy as you for sure. Um, and that's great. Because you want somebody in the same energetic um, space as you. Like, if you're a super hard worker and you're around a bunch of lazy people, that's not, you know, that's not conducive to if your energy and that's just the truth um, that's the truth raccoon a water sign that is pregnant very pregnant Second and third trimester, the person that has impregnated them is about to find out some huge lies. Some huge lies. They're about to leave this water sign to their own devices and will agree to pay child support when the child is here. It's about to benefit you in a huge way behind the scenes. Holy crap. Whoa, what the crap? God. Okay, Leo. Um, you can be masculine in Leo. Have Leo in any aspects of your cards. I need to get comfy for this. This is some shit. Um, I heard their own devices, though, so I think they've got something toxic going on. And I didn't hear they did, but there's a reason this person um whether it was a committed partner or a sexual partner or what have you what have you there's a reason they're about to leave them to their own devices i think there's something very toxic going on very toxic very toxic and it probably will lead to legal issues very oh my god i heard very toxic and it probably will lead to legal issues so yeah um it's something bad leo whatever it is now i don't know but it might lead to legal issues so it might be Drugs, maybe. I didn't hear what it was. I'll just tell you what I think it might be. It might be drugs. It might be um, uh, something else. I automatically think drugs. Um, and I'm serious. Uh, or it might be something else. But something could lead to legal issues. So, Or it might be some kind of something negative, toxic in the 
family environment. Maybe it's child abuse or child neglect, um, like a CPS kind of thing, or maybe it's abusing and neglecting another person, whether it's in a child or somebody else or something toxic, whatever it is. But whoever has impregnated this person, and it's at least two of them, two water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, one during their second trimester, one during their third, the person that has impregnated them, whether they're a committed partner or not committed partner, heard they're about to leave them to their own devices. Um, somehow they're about to find this out. The person that has impregnated them is about to find them out. They're, and I heard they will agree to pay child support, so it's not like they're going to leave them out in the cold financially. But it doesn't sound like they want to be a part of this toxicity, whatever the hell it is, whether it's drugs, abuse, neglect, um, or anything else toxic. Um, and they will pay what they're legally supposed to pay and leave them to whatever is going on but if it's something abusive i hope they fight for custody of the child um but of course i'm not this person that has impregnated the water side fence in their second or third trimester so however this person handles this but somehow it's about to benefit you behind the scenes leo if that resonates for you okay whoa <laughs> i just I just don't know what to say about that. <laughs> Raccoons. A Capricorn adult that had serious fetish to voyeurism, it's about to backfire on them in a huge ass way. It is about really not about to go well for them. For one is the feminine, for one is the masculine. Oh my god, what heavy voyeurism. Freemate is a no voyeurism is basically viewing somebody through a illegal camera basically um that's called voyeuring and there is criminal charges for that like you can be arrested for voyeurism i looked it up and that's just the truth so uh, there's some kind of capricorn adult out there in the universe i heard specifically in adults or 18 18 plus uh masculine well there's at least two i heard one's a fem, one's a masculine at least if not more than these two um more than two energies in the universe but they're seriously addicted to voyeurism so basically Peeping Tom energy through some kind of illegal camera or cameras sneakily. Um, I heard it's about to backfire on them. Heavy legal issues coming for them. I wonder if they're going to get arrested and charged. Uh, because that, that's a crime. That's a crime. I looked it up. It is an actual crime you can be charged for. Voyeurism is. And it's extremely invasive and overstepping of boundaries. And that's just the truth. I mean, it really is. So, um... In this aspect, I feel Raccoon is um, peeping Tom energy through the voyeur camera. And we're now talking about the fun Pornhub um, captions. You know, um, hidden cam. No. this Because uh, those people really do know they're being filmed. It's, that's for entertainment purposes. This is really, truly implanting a hidden device somewhere in somebody's space and truly doing it in the 3D. Really being a peeping Tom. And that's creepy as hell. It's one thing to view it on Pornhub as entertainment. This, this, these people took it to a whole new, new level. Um, so raccoon is a peeping tom energy. Um, and I feel they might have been doing it at night because rac raccoons are very nocturnal. Possibly. You plug it in, how it resonates. But I heard about the backfire on them. They're about to incur very heavy legal issues. Um, and I wonder if they're going to be jailed. Um. Or in charge or something of that nature. I mean, because they should be. And that's just the truth. Um, heard they, they've been seriously addicted to it for many years. And it's about to backfire on them. With heavy legal issues. And it should. But somehow it's about to benefit you behind the scenes, Leo. Um, for some it is your ex. For some it's an ex-co-worker. For some it's someone that lives in your hometown. Oh, for some of you. Oh, there's three of them. And some they're fem, some they're masculines. For some, they live in a different state than you. Four. For some, they live in a different state than you. So, for one, it's an ex. An ex of yours, I'm feeling. Or ex of somebody else's. 
For one, it's an ex coworker. I feel of you or somebody you're connected to. For one, it's someone that lives in your hometown. So whoever you are, I don't think you live in your hometown now, possibly, or you may. But somebody lives in your hometown, and for some, um, it is someone that lives in a different state than you. So a lot of peeping Tom Boyer energy. That's nasty. That's nasty. Uh, they really need a better hobby, and that's just the truth. Beetle, good fortune. Someone that should have been millionaire status a long time ago. Through many chance of shocking series of chain events, they're about to become. About to really invest their money in a very positive way and save a lot of this money. Wow, I love it. And that can make sense with the prosperity. I've been picking that up heavy in my readings too. So you plug it in how it resonates, uh, Leo. I heard someone, so it could be you. As a Leo or another sign, but somebody that should have been a millionaire status I heard a long time ago. There are many shocking series of chain of events they're about to become. Um, but whoever this person that's about to become a millionaire, whether it's you, Leo, or somebody else, because I heard someone, they're smart with their money or they're about to become smart with their money. I heard they're going to invest a lot of it, um, probably pay off the bills, invest it, pay off what they need to pay off. But they're going to save a lot of it, too. Um, and you, you know, you're talking millionaire status. So I don't know if it's a hundred million dollars or I'm sorry, $999 million or $1 million, but how that resonates, that's a lot of money. So, um, I would do the exact same thing. I would pay off what I want to pay off, fix what I want to fix and then save and then put some trust fund money up for my kids and then save the rest of it. That's what I would do. But of course everybody's different, but, um, Whoever this person is, whether it's a Leo or somebody else, they are about to come into good fortune, but they should have had it years ago, but they are about to, to gain it. They're about to gain it finally. So prosperity with the good fortune. One Leo, you're going to be very happy about this. It is a Leo about to get this. For one, you're not. Okay, I heard it is a Leo about to get this. It's a Leo about to get this millionaire status whether it's 1 million or 999.9 .9 million dollars um how that resonate one leo is gonna be pissed that this other leo is about to get it and one of you leo is gonna be happy the other leo is about to get it so how that resonates and applies only you know if you're going to receive this millionaire status or be happy for the person about to receive the millionaire status or not be happy for the person about to receive the millionaire status okay one Leo fam is about to get into a fight with the Pisces fam in a polygamous relationship. Hair pulling. What? Oh my God. Okay. Whoa. Okay. I just want to say if whoever the hell that's for, you're in a, like a sister wife shit. You're in a sister wife shit. I'm not judging your sister wife shit, but I would never do it. And that's just the damn truth. Um, it's too much drama. And that's just the truth. So, what are you Leos? And I was picking that up in the beginning before the storage cut off. And I had to delete the space. Somebody's in a polygamous relationship. One of you Leos is. And apparently, you're a Leo femme. And it's a Pisces femme in this polygamous relationship with you. But, okay, so there's at least two femmes in this polygamous relationship. Meaning, I think the lone person over here with all these partners is a, a masculine or a femme and they're masculine and you guys are the ones the sister wives all sharing this one person that's what i'm saying leo femme leo femme and pisces femme there's at least two of you in this mix if not more in this sister wife shit you're sharing another person i heard there's gonna be hair pulling some kind of fight i think over this person or over something else. Something's going down in the polygamous sister wife shit. But she's in this with you, Leo fam. I heard there's going to be hair pulling. So I don't know if you're going to pull her hair. She's going to pull your hair. Or somebody's going to pull somebody's hair. Um, I wonder if the cops are going to get called. That sounds very toxic. I'd be getting the hell out of that sister wife shit. Like ASAP. And that's just the damn truth. Yikes. Yikes. Anybody needs to hear that. It's very toxic. That's not prosperous. 
Yikes! Dogs getting together with friends. And Leo is about to take on a whole new world. A world really, you are really going to love. It is people like you. You do not live in a place right now where people are like you. And you know it, and they know it. Through many series of chain events. Okay, so you play it how it resonates. I think of that song, A Whole New World. But wherever you are, Leo, you're not like the people, whatever society, world, community you live in, you're not like the people in your society, community, and world. The community knows it, and you know it. So I feel you might have supernatural gifts or abilities or just think very differently like, than like people in your community basically like me and that's just the truth i know i'm not like people in my community i know i'm not but do i hurt harm or wish any ill upon anybody else no i just stayed myself in my little bubble and saving up to get the hell out of here and that's just the truth eventually um but i want to renovate my house and um want to leave it i want to make money off my home because I've been paying on it for five years. It just makes sense to renovate my house up real nice and get it nice for whoever moves in and then get the hell out of here. And that's just the truth. Um, th everybody's story's different, but that's me. So that's me. But whoever you are, you're the same as me. You don't fit in with your community, your society, your world. You know that. I feel for some you could have gifts. And I didn't hear you did, but I feel for some you might. Um, but you know you're different. That your community knows you're different. And basically, you're about to take on a whole new world through many series of chain of events. It could be that Scorpio masculine that's about to come in for some of you guys. For some, it might be anybody else. Or any other series of chain of events that are about to be created. To give you some kind of new, whole new world energy. Um, but for one, it sounds like through many series of chain of events, it sounds like you might move to a different community. Um, because you don't fit into the one you're in now. And you know it, and they know it. And whoever, whatever community it sounds like you're about to go into, um, that I, I think they know it too, obviously. Because um, I heard you're like them. You're like the community that apparently, through many series of time events, it sounds like you're about to move to, or be invited to, or, or be invited to visit, or something of that nature. Um, you're like that, that community, but you're not like the one you currently reside in. So that could be the getting together with friends too. I feel for some, you might get invited to this community or might meet somebody of this community and form a connection there. And maybe that's what prompts you to move closer or in this community or something of that nature is what I'm saying. But whoever you are, masculine and Leo, the community you're in now, you are not like them. They know you're not like them, and you know you're not like them. And I think the community you're either going to move to or visit or something of that nature with the getting together with friends, I think they know that too. So you plug it in how it resonates. Man. For one, a movie date is about to become significant. For one, a getting together at a coffee shop. For one, a communication on your phone. It will lead to more. 
Okay, so for one of you guys for the getting together with friends, some kind of significant coffee shop meeting, sounds like upcoming for one, uh, some kind of movie date, energy, you know, that could be your friends. It don't have to be romantical or it could be romantical or what have you, what have you. And for one, some kind of communication I heard on your phone specifically from somebody, it might be that community that's not of your community or it could be from anybody else. Some kind of significant phone communication that could be text, email, uh, uh, messenger or what have you, what have you, that it's about to become significant that will lead to more. So you might make a friend through this or maybe uh, it might be more than friends down the line or what have you, what have you. But it seems like it will be positive with a good fortune energy and be prosperous in a positive way. I don't feel this is a person trying to hurt or harm you or do anything in a negative sense to you, uh, Leo. Thank God. Um, just saying, just saying. Nest, an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. For one of you, Leos, an ex-lover was hired to be your uh, hitman on you in the past. He is on the run. You really cared a lot about him, but it, things are about to end very badly for him. One of you needs to hear this. But no, he will turn in a Libra Feminine. He will turn her in. And he will turn in all the information he knows about her. For one, this is a very toxic sister of yours that tried to kill you. Oh my God Almighty. So you plug it in how it resonates. Damn. Okay, so for one of you guys, you have an ex-lover. Uh, I feel for one of you guys, it could be a fire sign or earth sign ex-lover. Because uh, we have fire sign, uh, earth sign energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag, ex-lover possibly. But only you know who your, this ex-lover is, not anybody else. Um, but it's an ex-lover. So uh, ex-sexual connection, whether it was committed or not committed. Um, I heard you cared for this person a lot, Leo. Um, um, but they, I heard they were hired in the past to be a hitman to you. Um, and I heard for one of you guys, a Libra Femme sister was basically the one that basically hired him to be a hitman to you. Um, so he obviously knows your sister for one of you guys. For one, it could be anybody else. But for one, it definitely was a sister that hired him to, to basically kill you. And it sounds like it's your sister that hired him to kill you. It, your sister, your sister. Okay, so um, your sister, for one of you guys, it was your sister that hired him, your ex-lover, to kill you, to be your hitman. But it hasn't happened. You're still living, Leo. Um, and I feel you're a femme because he's a masculine. I heard a hitman. So I think you're a femme. You're a femme. Okay, that's confirmation. You're a femme. He's a masculine. And for one of you guys, a nasty sister hired him to kill you. For one, it might not have been a nasty sister, but... You plug it in how it resonates. But I heard things are about not to go well for him. I heard he's on the run right now. He's on the run. Things are about not to go well for him. I think he might get apprehended or something's about to happen to where he's about to get caught by authorities or something. Or caught in some other kind of way and somehow this comes out. But how that resonates, I heard he will before things go south for him or terrible for him or something, I'm guessing. I heard he will reveal the information on your toxic... Um, sister, uh, the Leaf of Femme sister for the one that has the sister basically collaborate with him to kill you. For one of you guys, I feel maybe you didn't have a toxic sister collaborate to kill him, uh, to kill you with him, but for one you did. But for the one that did, I heard that he will reveal all the information I know, uh, all the information he knows on her, is what I heard. He will reveal all the information he knows on her. I feel for some it might happen at night when he gets apprehended or caught or things go down south for him to where he reveals all this information on this uh, toxic ass sister that basically hired him to kill you or helped hire him to kill you. How that resonates in the Plaza Leo fam? It will happen at night. That's confirmation. It will happen at night. I felt it with the raccoon energy because they're not colonel, but that's confirmation. It will happen at night. So whatever is about to go down with him at night. It's an earth sign masculine. 
It's Ursine Masculine. Okay. Oh, Raccoon, definite. Ursine Energy. Ursa, Ursine Masculine, Leo fam. So your ex-lover is Ursine Masculine. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Masculine. Something's going to happen at night with him. But I don't know if he's going to reveal the information on your for the one that had your sister plot and plan to kill you and hired him to do it at night or something else is going to happen to him at night. But somehow night is significant with him being apprehended or revealing the information on your toxic ass um, attempted murder kind of sister or how that resonates, okay? Ness, an emotionally secure loving family is important to you. His current legally married spouse has a lot to do with this too, but it is about to benefit you in a huge way. It's about to go badly for him and this Libra Feminine. Okay, so this is our masculine ex of your past, Leo Femme. Um, I'm pulling that in strong. Um, his current legally married spouse, so he is currently legally married to somebody else, it sounds like right now, in the airject space. But she is about to have a lot to do with this. Um, in some shape, form, or fashion. Maybe she knows there was a plot on your life in the past and your sister had a lot to do with it. Or maybe she's about to find it out. But somehow she has a lot to do with this. Um, with your ex-lover, which is her husband, and the information, I guess, on your sister plotting to kill your ass in the past and, or him being apprehended or something. Somehow she has a lot to do with this or she's about to. But how that resonate? Um, I heard it's about to go badly for him and for your Libra femme attempted murder kind of sister. So you plug it in how it resonates, Leo Finn. But his current legally married spouse is about to have a lot, like a, a hand in the honeypot in this. I don't know if in a positive way or a negative way. But somehow it's going to benefit you behind the scenes. So you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Man. Nest, an emotionally secure loving family is important to you. For one, your kids and yourself and your connections mean a lot to you, and it's about to really show. For one of you, your kids, and I heard kids, so two or two plus kids. For some, it might be one kid, but I did hear kids uh, like two or two plus. Um, for some, it may be one. You have to plug it in how it resonates, but I did hear kids, two or two plus. Uh, for at least one, your kids, your um, yourself. And your connections are, mean a lot to you. So, um, an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. Meaning, I think whoever you draw in in your life, and of course, you got to do it in a very safe, effective way. Of course, this is 2023. You got to be careful. But whoever you are, I think you have a good head on your shoulders. And you obviously love your kids, two or two plus kids. For one, some, it may be one. You plug in how it resonates, but I feel for the majority of my collective, it's two or two plus kids, if that resonates for you. For one, uh, uh, so your kids, your uh, self, yourself, like self-care, self-love, not putting yourself out there in dangerous situations or dangerous things or or what have you, what have you, which is smart. And, um, and your connections are important to you. So, you know, connections. Whatever connections you draw in, whether it's business, platonic, romantic, uh, community, what have you, what have you, some kind of connections, whatever connections you make, you strategically make them and you make the best out of them, is what I feel. I don't feel, what I'm saying is I don't feel you put yourself around people that are going to hurt, harm, or hinder you, or you try not to at least. Um, of course, it's 2023, you've really got to watch it with folks, but, um, I think you make good decisions or you really do try um, because there's a lot of scammy, spammy, conny, fraudy people out there. And that's just the truth. So nobody's perfect, but putting yourself in positions or trying to align yourself in positions to where 
you can not only benefit yourself, but benefit others in the world in a positive, copacetic manner in a safe way, is what I feel. Um, so that's really beautiful energy, if that resonates for you. I heard kids, yourself, and your connections. So like I said, that could be business connections, internet connections, um, community connections, family um, that's not toxic, or anybody that's not toxic, um, in a safe manner. Whether it's family, not family, what have you, what have you, okay? And for one, there is about to be a beautiful love story. You are, you are a very bad bitch in a very positive way. And this person is a very bad person in a very positive way. Dark and light side energies, but not, not putting your shit out there to everybody. You're about to meet in very unexpected ways. It's about to grow. I heard not putting your shit out there to everybody. <laughs> I love it. I don't put my shit out there to everybody in, um, either, but do I love to have sex? Do I, I mean, yes. And that's just the truth. But do I want to have sex with everybody? No. And that's just the truth. You know, um, everybody's looking for different things. Do you just want to bang it with somebody or do you want the emotional connection with the banging? I mean, and that's just true. Some people just want to bang. You just want to bang, just put it out there. If you want to bang and you want to see where it goes, put it out there. If you don't want to bang and you just want to get to know somebody, put it out there. That's just the truth. Everybody's looking for different things, but be real, whatever the hell you're going to do. And that's just the truth. Should make your intentions very clearly known. Don't lie to folks. Because you lie to folks, that's going to cause problems. And that's just the truth. So, whoever you are, you don't put your shit out there to everybody. And I feel your 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 vajay, your vajay jay or your penis. And that's just the truth. Um, you'll put it out there to everybody. Your mom, I think, can control your thing. Um, and that's just the truth. Um, and like I said, I love to have sex, but am I just going to have sex with any old body? No, because there's things called HIV and AIDS and venereal diseases and uh, very serious sexual health concerns out in the world in 2023. Um, and that's just the truth. I learned the hard way. Um, I got an STD. I was a, I, I was a just, well, I was, wasn't a brand new nurse. I'd been working. I was a night supervisor, my first nursing job. It was back in 2014. Um, I'd been there probably about six or seven months. So I wasn't new in the company, but I would date somebody from my hometown. I'll just give you all a quick story and then I'll close it out. Dated somebody from my hometown. Uh, he was a year younger than me in school, but I, I knew he was good at sex and I wasn't really looking for anybody like dating. Like we dated, but it was very casual because I didn't want anything serious. You know, he knew it. I knew it. I was very clear with him, but I knew he was very good at sex because he basically has fucked almost the entire small town that we <laughs> grew up in. And he's very good looking, but it was a wh horrible choice, horrible choice because he ended up giving me trick of moments. And that's just the truth. I ended up having to go to the public health department to get some antibiotics to clear up my trick of moments. I've only had one STD my entire time from ever my entire life. And that was from that guy. And I text him the moment I found out I had trick after I went to the public health department, he acted like he didn't do it to me. And that's just the truth. But he did. He did give me trick. I haven't had a sense. Um, but I know it was him. And I know how his sexual prowess, prowess how he's basically screwed everybody when we were in high school. So I I mean I'm not a dummy, but I went and took care of my sexual health. My point is you can't Yes, it was a good ass time. Wow, he's, I mean, he's fucking great at sex. I mean, so good. Way back when I had it with him in 2014, you're talking almost 10 years ago, but I chose him for a reason because I knew he'd be good at sex and that's all I wanted. But is that what I'm looking for now? No. Because do I want to end up in the same situation I did in 2014? No. You know, I grew up a lot since then. You're talking about de almost a, de <clears throat> a decade. You know, um, has passed since then. But everybody's looking for different things is what I'm trying to say. 
That was a poor choice on my part in the past, and I have lived and learned, is what I'm trying to say. Um, everybody's looking for different things. Do I judge? No. But for one of you guys, there's about to be some kind of love story about to occur between you and another person. Uh, someone you've never met yet. Someone you have never met yet. Someone you have never met yet. And um, it sounds like through many series of time events, it, it sounds like it's going to grow. Now, I don't know how it's going to grow, but somehow it is going to grow to some kind of love story. It might start out with sex first. It might not. It might start out as friends. It, I mean, I don't know. Everybody's situation story is different, but somehow you've never met this person and it's going to start off like y'all are going to meet and then it's going to grow. How that resonates in the fall, okay? Somehow, uh, I think it might lead to prosperous a prosperous situation prosperous situation i don't feel it's going to be like my little story my little hometown story where i had to go to the public health department and get antibiotics for my trichomonas that the guy that i mean literally we had i mean it was great sex don't get me wrong i mean like ooh, sometimes when i'm really horny i still dream about that night and i'm just i'm for real because it was such good sex like it really was but was it good for me no it reminds me of like the waterfall song by tlc don't go chasing waterfalls we'll stick to the rivers and the lakes that you used to except in that 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 story in that song that person ended up getting hiv i didn't get hiv but hell trichomonas was i i wouldn't wish that upon anybody my lady parts are usually very beautiful they did not look beautiful then I knew something was off, and that's just the truth. Yikes. For one of you Leos, you're about to find out unexpectedly from a family member that another family member has HIV. It's about to shock the hell out of you. Okay, so for one of you um, Leos, you're about to find out shockingly from another family member that another family member has HIV. So, um, and her's going to shock you. So, whoever you are, Leo, if that resonates for you, I don't feel it's you that has HIV in this situation. It is one of your family members. But you're about to find it out, shockingly, from another family member that this family member has HIV. So, the one that has HIV is not going to tell you they have HIV. Um, you're about to find it out from somebody else. Uh, another family member, some kind of shocking series of shame events. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Whoa. And for one of you Leos, you're about to find out someone that you grew up with in your hometown is about to get their kids taken away for child abuse. Oh my God. Wow. And for one of you Leos, you're about to find out that someone that you grew up with in your hometown is about to get their kid or kids taken away. I heard kids. So two or two plus kids in some situations. It may be one, but I did hear kids um, taken away for child abuse. Um, so some kind of child abuse going on with somebody that either lives in your hometown or used to grow up with you in your hometown. How that resonates in the plaza, Leo? Holy crap, man. All right, I'm closing it out. I love you guys so much. Um, and for one, you're about to find out a family member is a pedophile. About to go to jail. Oh, my God. And for one, you're about to find out a family member is a pedophile. They're about to go to jail. So you plug in how it resonates. I'm closing this out. Love you guys. Namaste.